Yeah, man, so I'm a nice silk boss and I represent for you all of my fans them down at Westmoreland. You know it thing going on. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, silk boss could make it, you know, could be eligible for that one. Yeah. You know it thing go. Man wicked, so Silk Boss and his girlfriend slash manager Bree is now being called out for not providing a refund to the promoter after a no show. Silk Boss was booked for the event no umpis kumpi that was staged in Westmoreland on July 2nd of this year. So he was paid the deposit by the promoter Daniel for over 60 days now. Now the contract says I'm can make on read the contract. But before me get to the contract, let's hear the response of what Bree said. Bree Silk Boss's manager slash girlfriend. Let's hear the response of what Bree said to the promoter about the refund. Alright, send on this voice out. Um refund will give in thirty business in thirty business days. However, you might you guys might get it back before. But if you want to know if this is legit, you can use a lawyer because we never take anybody money like this. Um, we never scam anyone before. You never yet see that in the media. So if you want to know if this is legit or what, because this was, wasn't was our fault because Air Canada was having a lot of strike, a lot of delays. So if they can't wait, I don't know what to tell them. They can contact a lawyer, send them the contract because the contract is valid. So there is no knowledge of any strike from Air Canada or any other plane coming from Canada. No strike, no delays, but that our breeze say, so that our breeze say. No me could go into the contract. If the artist does not perform per se one to the terms of this contract for a reason other than force majeure, then deposit received by artist management shall be fully refunded. Deposit will be returned to the purchaser in full seven days, seven business days from date of cancellation by artists. If purchaser breaches and are cancelled for any reason, all monies received are forfeited and the balance will be due within seven business days of such breach slash cancellation. Now it has been 60 days, the promoter Daniel for No Umpi Skumpi paid in late June and so far the promoter waited for two months now. All them people are going with them now. Until I say, this will get out of control. Let's get away. Because um, I say, um, I mean, a night before the show, I reach out to them. They might tell me they miss flight. Or they might try to get flight from Canada to come to Jamaica. You get me? Alright? Um, on the day of the show, Try to reach out back to them now and so we don't get till much o'clock in the night. You get me? After seven, after eight. You get me? The moment we know, say, they still there at the airport. They still there at Canada, which is sound like them all in a nice and them type of vibe. They them still there at the airport, I try to get drive. I try to get the hard to get drive to go to the airport to try to catch flight to come to Jamaica. Which no make no sense. Because at the end of the day, even if I could have tried to arrange something to make them try to reach Jamaica. Get a, um, to try to get a flight scheduled for them reach a Jamaica or whatever stories. They call them during the course of the year. Nobody na answer, none of them na answer. You get me, I say? Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, what I really want, what I really want is, want, want, want a refund in a full. You get me? And um, the contract states seven days. So, I don't know why they might tell you 30 days. I don't know why me, I, I don't know why me would have a face of punishment for somewhere for them a Europe and for them part. Or what I say, you get me I say? Yeah. And the contract states seven days. You get me I say? Right. And um it's over the seven days now. And um me being humble enough about the whole situation. You get me I say? When me hear the deposit, I don't hesitate. I don't take a second or a minute to forward the funds to them. To forward the funds immediately once I heard what the deposit was. The funds were sent immediately, they sent over the money. They gave me. So now what I really want is a refund. Right? But I really, really, really want the money. Because it's gone over the seven days. And I mean I've been humble and I wait. And I wait and I wait it. And I wait no 30 days or no 30 days or I don't know why. Um they might try apply 30 days for refund to my to the money when the contract has to get seven days. Right? So I mean today are Wednesday. Today are Wednesday, and the longest may I wait, may I wait until Friday. If I don't get my money by Friday, then may I go take it to our next level. May I go to social media, and may I also go take it to the left. Now go, um, 
I go above, I go seek legal matters, I go and they may want to pay for damages because this actually will ruin my reputation. Because as I said, people know that they now come at the party before I knew. You get me? I say, so this is damaging. And they will pay for damages if I don't get the money by Friday. I need my money by Friday. Right? So just let me know. So the promoter humbly enough for even a wait for two months. But when him says no money now run, nothing now go on, he must have to take legal actions. He have to try to figure out a way for make him get him money. Because on a film fault, he not do nothing wrong. And he spend a whole heap of money promote the event. Flyers and pay people for your walk up and down, liquors, and also it can be damaging to him, sure, because say it's an annual event. Next year, when he might keep it, enough people now go on forward because they might go say, Oh, that promoter you just put any random artist for make we pay for going and we now go see the artist. The artist now go show up a tricky matric, we now go back at the show there. It damaged the brand of the show now. So, next year, when he put an artist on it, people are gonna be doubtful because our silk boss do so if the promoter decide for sue for damages it are gonna really damage silk boss as the artist a whole heap of money have to go fuck up so the best thing silk boss do is pay back the deposit instead of make it go to court and him goodly have to go pay off for all of the damages them compensatory damages maybe all punitive damages it just are gonna cost the artist more because a whole heap of damages and the promoter I look like him not even want to take it to court him look like him a good youth because if me read a contract with say seven days me I look for seven days seven business days somebody can't go tell me say you are 30 business days and even if them tell me 30 business days I'm gonna say alright then no problem I will wait and then it double that and gone in a two months me I go say yo no man me, them a take me for fool, them a take me for idiot. And me do a show and say, Silk Boss a go de de, Silk Boss a go de de, and get everybody excited. And while the show a go on, now everybody a ask, Where Silk Boss de? And me can't give them an answer. A whole heap of damages that man. And all the man want, I him deposit. Him just want a full refund for the deposit where him said in Silk Boss. The smartest thing you do Silk Boss I just run back the refund knowing say your fault, take accountability. Do not blame Air Canada, say plane gone pan strike and even if that was the case, it's still your fault. You know that too. So just do the right thing. Anyways, you don't know the thing going on and nice like how we been going as usual. Man tough. Yeah, man, we kid. How me feel no barrage? My tick from my belly that I do feel the gay day. No bobby bow money at all, got me got this. By my side, my god, couple back. Slaps the pangrel, kill is not average. Clocks when I step in a Vietnam language. So me do me thing anytime, me go at this. How me feel no barrage?